2017 is going to be a very significant year in terms of both challenges and opportunities for our members and the BBRLA as we go forward. No surprise, first and foremost is Brexit and what Brexit means for our sector. I think we've gotten over the initial shock of it. Um, it would be nice at some point to have some clarity uh, about it. You know, it's going to be a long protracted process and we're only just at the start of it. We think there's plenty of scope for uncertainty to get more intense as we move into 2017 and as a result of that we think that would, if that did happen that would likely bear down on business confidence and, and rates of business activity. At the moment the view is that the UK economy is in a pretty good position to deal with any impact if and when it arrives. The major impact is on interest rates and currency exchange rates and the impact that could have on pricing and inflation. We've already seen um, a little bit of adjustment in the marketplace from manufacturers sort of pushing up prices and also from some of the funders just adjusting residuals, being a little bit more cautious in terms of short-term forecasts. So we've seen an impact already in terms of some of the pricing that we're able to offer to customers. I expect the new car market to remain pretty healthy throughout 2017. And then the, the used car market, again, will perform pretty much as it has been doing in recent years, uh, with the rate of deflation of values staying about the same. I think it's a very dynamic environment for fleets and in the car industry. There's a lot of taxation changes, legislation changes, standards with regards to emissions. So there's a lot that our customers have to think about. There's a lot of challenges facing the leasing industry this year. Uh, not least the fallout from the autumn statement and the, the, the look at um, company cars and salary sacrifice schemes, the future of those, the worldwide harmonised light testing procedures, looking at CO2 emissions coming in in September, uh, vehicle excise duty changes from April, there's all sorts of um, factors that are going to impact on the industry this year and I think we've really got to try and understand those and help our customers through them. We know that autonomous and electric vehicles are coming, so we need to be right there as well to understand how user behaviour will change, how we can monetize few cars in the future, but equally recognise that there will be consumer segments who don't want to own cars in the future. We can help mitigate the risk, but at the same time, it's change, it's a change market, and that creates opportunities. Generally, we're optimistic. We think there's, we're still going to see some, some, some good, steady business. Um, the good news is this is a pretty resilient industry, both rental and leasing. We've been through a variety of political ups and downs and economic ups and downs and legislative and regulatory ups and downs, and we traditionally find our way through it uh, because of our ability to be resilient, flexible and adaptive. Um, I don't think this will be any different. I think we'll come out of it just fine.